this video discusses two key exponential graphs and then shows how to solve certain equations using logarithms. Now the first equation is called exponential growth. Now anything to the power of zero is one, so this graph passes through one on the y-axis. But as x gets larger, so this graph gets larger and larger and larger for a bigger than one. And the graph basically does the following. It gets steeper and steeper and steeper, like so. So that's called exponential growth. And it asymptotes towards the x-axis, but never quite gets there. Now a to the power of minus x, where again a is bigger than 1, is called exponential decay. And again, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So rather than getting larger and larger and larger, the negative power shows a decay. So the graph actually decreases down towards the x-axis, like so. And again, asymptotes towards that x-axis. So we have a sketch of growth and a sketch of decay. Now there are certain equations you must be able to solve of this style, where we're looking for the power the power is the unknown. Now there's a technique called logarithms in which when given an equation like this we take logs, so to speak, of both sides. And what happens is the power falls down adjacent to the logarithm. So to find x we have to work out what log 5 over log 3 is. So you enter that into your calculator and you get x is 0 0.477 to 3sf. So when the unknown is a power, we can take logs of both sides, and the power falls down, we then rearrange the equation to find x. Now the second question is very similar, but this is 3 there, which pre-multiplies the 5 to the power of x. So the first step is to divide by 3. So 8 over 3 equals 5 to the power of x. We now have the same question, or the same stellar question as above, so we can take logs of both sides. So it's log of the entire fraction equals log of 5 to the power of x. The x falls down And then to get x, we divide by log 5. So x equals log of 8 thirds all over log of 5. So we input that into our calculator and get 0 0.609 to 3s.